hello everybody and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be kicking out Stellaris again. Last week, um, we left it kind of on a cliffhanger with an anomaly and then right after I stopped recording another anomaly happened so we're going to be kicking both of those out today. <coughs> um, but I'm going to keep the game paused and everything right now so we can look at everything without it changing on us because this game has a bad habit of changing constantly. But uh, we're going to be. Oh, I don't like that one. I was trying to. Anyway, we're going to be looking at the government up here first. Which is hot key for it is F1. Function 1. Can I say it? And this shows Air, this shows Air Supremus Grotius the Destroyer. Like that. Anyway, and all his ethics, everything, and his agenda, which is minerals plus 10%. So. Um, develop industry. That's his agenda, and a perk it will give us is minerals plus 10%. Um, okay. Okay, so he's a dictator, so they hold an election every time he dies, and then they pick a new one. And here's his civics and everything. And then here's the budget. This is going to be coming very handy. I can look here to see what costs the most, and then lower that cost. It also has some economic effects and income and stuff. I don't understand all of it. I just do the easy expenses and that's it. <clears throat> My voice sounds groggy because I feel like I need to cough a lot for some reason. I think I have the lower stages of sickness. We'll see. Um, anyway. I've never really seen this bit. Uh, I guess it's just about your population and pop effects. Um... Okay, I didn't know about that. This is contacts. This is where all of the communications with alien empires will um, show up. I don't usually turn primitives off because they just pop up. You can't talk to them or anything because they're, they're primitive. And so you can't communicate or anything like that. It's just annoying. Um, and then this is a situation log. It has all your objectives and then this victory thing. It shows how close you are to certain types of victory. Um, so yeah. And then over here, this is the, arguably the most important tab of all. Your, what's it even called? <laughs> it's the most important, but I have no idea what it's called. Technology. So, that's where all your researching will happen, and researches are a big deal. They help you um, discover n new things. Um, I'm looking at the desktop audio. Hold on. I'm going to be turning you up. Okay. Um. Oh, wait a minute. That's desktop audio. That's microphone audio. Okay. I thought desktop audio was the, the, bo the top one. Okay. Never mind. The audio is fine. I can't check the recording as I'm recording it, so we're just going to hope that I don't make a major mistake and ruin everything. Anyway. The next up. This is oh, a strange one. It has all of these um, plants and sectors, which. We'll get into if we get a sector policies and edicts. Now these, um, these allow you to stockpile food and stuff, which we are actually going to turn this up to full, and that will control how much food that we store. I have no idea why you'd want it on small. Um, push kind of protocol aggressive. Um, initial border status open. Okay, that's it. And then this, we can do these, and for a fee, a monthly fee, we can um, boost research or encourage political thought or information, quarantine, stuff like that. And then these are our factions, which we don't have any, so there's nothing to talk about. These are our traditions. Now, you can adopt these, and they not only give you new, um, what are they called? traits to your empire or whatever, but once you get an entire thing here, 
will get an ascension perk. And keep in mind, I am playing with the Utopia expansion pack. So, I'm able to build mega structures and stuff like that. You cannot actually do this in some of the stuff I do in the original game. So, if you want to do everything I do, um, then you, along with Scholar, so you'd need a, use the Utopia expansion pack. <coughs> Man, I have a really groggy voice this morning. Anyway, uh, so we just kind of skipped over these because there's no hotkeys, but there's strategic resources. I've actually never looked in this tab. Okay. I've officially looked in that tab now. This is species, where you set the rights to alien person. Actually, hold on. That's... Okay, set and default rights. These will be the default rights for everyone. Just let me see there's full citizenship, well, full military service, um, no conversation. Conversation allowed, okay. Do that. Okay. And that will be the default for everyone. Okay. Excellent. So anyway, after that, we have leaders. This is all the leaders um, that are currently alive. They can die after a while. Um, expansion planner. This just shows you habitable planets you know of, I guess. I don't know. And ship designer. Now this is going to be a big deal. So this allows us to design our ships. Which currently, this is like the best we can do. <laughs> That's pathetic. Okay, um, and then we have our resources here. The plus, thing or minus, depending on how good I am at managing resources, tells how much we're making monthly. So we're making 6 energy monthly, 14 energy monthly, 2 energy monthly, 3 energy monthly, and 2 un uh, no, influence, food, minerals, sorry, and unity, and that will allow us to get traditions. Um... How do I explain it? What was I even going to say? Oh, um, this is the, the profit. This is after all the expenses. So, that we're actually going to get that much monthly. Then we're getting, this tells us how much research we're getting, and that will speed up the, the technology tab and the things in it. Um, this is strategic resources, hap, um, colonized worlds, and naval capacity, which we only have three Corvettes, I think. Yeah. And so, that's gonna stay the same, I guess. Uh, but anyway, let us finally get into this. How long is this recording? Um, only eight minutes? Okay. That's good. Mmm, it's small between the rockets, the source of planets, and it's too many to take all skin beams, Determines material composition. I'm sorry if you couldn't hear a thing I said. <laughs> Is there a way to change scientists? Why can't I change scientists? Oh, I can. They're both the same, so we're gonna leave this one alone for now. We'll come back to that eventually when we have someone who won't fail as easily. Okay, both of them are 20. We're going to tell this guy go ahead because it's only 20% fail, so it's 1 out of 5. Okay. Then we're going to tell a construction ship here to build this mining station, and that will produce two more minerals but it will cut back on our energy because we have to maintain it. Um, so, yeah. Whew. Alright, so anyway. I think what we need to do is start getting a, um, a plan in place for our empire. Um, so we're going to go to the surface here. We're going to try to make sure everyone's happy and everything.
Okay. Look at that. It's researching. Anyway, just give me a second here. I don't want to stop recording. Because, um, I'm planning to record like two episodes this morning and then release them periodically across the week. But, um, I need to get an idea of what I want to do. I guess. Oof. Think, think, think. What are these? Oh, that's. This. Fleet. I don't want that. Okay, so we're gonna turn off its rally point for now. We're even going to assign an admiral. So I'll show you this process. So this one trade or this is why you don't. <laughs> this is why you don't make plans in Stellaris. A large mineral rich asteroid cloud with clue at some point during your previous thousand years and must it must in what must have been a major impact event, and abundance of minerals can be found on the moon. Okay. 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 An abundance of minerals can be found on the moon in the vicinity of the impact crater. <coughs> okay. We'll click that. And now, I can finally look at this. The ISS Escalade has made a startling find on Pleione 3. The planet is teeming with alien life. For the first time in history, we have encountered life forms that did not originate, originate on Finn. And if you play with any empire, you will always say this. Um, we will replace it with anything. For instance, um, I have one where I'm playing as Princinians. I've talked about them before. Um, if you don't know, if you want to hear that weird conversation, uh, it's on the, uh, I believe, the first episode of my shipbuilding series, if you want to see that. Okay, so, mm -hmm. this amazing discovery has silenced those who believe we were alone in the universe, although none of the alien creatures found on Pleione play, play 3 are sapient. It is likely only a matter of time before we encounter beings that are. Okay, and that will up the amount of speed at which society research is going on which I'll talk about in a second so this one he'll gain leader experience plus 25% this is the kind I like sublight speed plus 20% combat speed plus 20% and evasion and those are all really good traits and then triple points yeah we're gonna do this guy or gal is it a guy or gal what is it Oh, I'm just joking it's, it's a girl though yeah, it's fine. <laughs> um, no, don't take me there. Oh. Don't take me there. Take me back. Okay. There's a fossil of us with news alien life found on the ISS Escalade. It's hardly, uh, while hardly intelligent by Grouchian standards, the fascinating beings defy easy classifications and hint at the immense complexities, possibilities of the universe. Yeah, and it's just gonna pop that up, a news article up every now and then. <coughs> it gets pretty annoying, actually. So, what sort of construction is it? Okay, it's almost done with that. So, we might even meet our first empire today. System survey complete. Um, for some strange man. Efforts to map the surface of the planet have identified a strange amount of information in the side of the hemisphere. It does not appear to have formed naturally. Now, if it fails, it's just going to say it's a mountain we were wrong. But if it succeeds, it's gonna, probably going to be an alien thing. Construction. Um, so... going to check if changing scientists will make it better, and it will not. I don't like those odds. I'm going to leave it be for now. Um, we construction, okay. Let's go to our spaceport here. We can't build anything there. So if I hit this, what can we build? We can build Corvettes, but that's not going to be useful. Excuse me. Um, let's, 
What's up with the research output? Um, in one of my progresses, the one I mentioned earlier with the Princinians, um, I've got, I produced several hundred, well not several hundred, but over like 180 minerals monthly. And basically the way I do that is, I never spend them, because I'm always at war. I have a federation with like seven fleet, you know, six, okay. No, I got a new one in seven, almost. So I have a federation with like seven fleets, and um, they're all much more powerful than me. So I just, we just go and cream the enemy, and I get all the spoils because of the way they operate. So hopefully we can do something like that in this progress. Um, I'm going. I thought about something though. I I kind of want to. I'm a nice guy over in my other progress. So I kind of want to be mean over here. <laughs> kind of want to make people hate me and then defeat them in war or something. So we're going to try to build this up. So, you know what? We're going to build a few more Corvettes because I know I'm going to find other life. Because I've played through this a few times. Never actually completed it, interestingly enough. So, I'm going to start building up an army. And that army is we are going to use to destroy our enemies. And our friends. No, not our friends. We'll see. If they get annoying, then maybe. Okay, is this the one that's 40% failures? I don't like that. That is too dangerous for me. It says that, but I'm gonna go in there, it's gonna be the same thing. Oh, I better get a lag. And the science ships need something to survey, so. Survey system. Oh, mouse is acting up. I hate it when it does that. Okay. Uh, uh. Excuse me. Oh, I'm so tired. It's like five thirty. No, it's six now. <laughs> Got up at five thirty this morning. Just so I could record. I'm actually really excited to play this. I I and just so you guys know, I have played none off-camera. Uh, I don't want to play any off-camera on this series. So, hopefully we can do that. It's about to add... Yep, it just added the new ship. Okay, so... There's not really a lot to talk about in Stellaris. A lot of it's just doing this. My favorite thing, however, about the game it's the micromanaging down here. And the fleets. I also like the fleets. But I like to micromanage my empire. So something we can do is right here. We can build this guy a mineral facility. A mineral network. Whatever it's called. Mining network. Okay. That the audio volume's getting pretty high. It's playing the loud music now. So now we are going to be no, not be. I don't know. I'm confusing myself. This is why you don't get up at 5:30 a.m., kids. This is why. <laughs> yeah. All right. So. Just have the, the last thing to do, I guess. Yeah. We need to wait on. T we need to uh, get enough minerals first, so. Plus 16. The benefit I have on my other one, though, is that. The, okay. So the benefit I have on my other one is. 
it's at the point where I've built up most of the stuff. And so, um, I just have to do basic little preparations. I'm producing all I need. So I basically sit back and go to war, as I mentioned earlier. And so I have over 9,000 minerals because I never use them. Ever. So, well, sometimes I use them, but very rarely do I use them. So I just constantly building them up. Um, whereas in this, we're starting out, so we need to get everything up and running, make sure everything's operational, which it seems to be. Let me look at this. Okay, we're going to research this. Okay. What's this? Friends. You have you the friends list. Don't have a friends list. I don't have any friends. <laughs> I'm joking. So these are for the number pad. I didn't talk about this earlier. If I press one, it'll bring up my planet. If I press two, it'll bring up my um I think that's my fleet, yeah. It'll bring up my science ships if I do that, and my construction ships if I do four. So one, two, three, and four. So I guess if you want to tell the construction ship to do something, you just press 4 and then tell it to do it. So you don't have to actually click on the ship. Huh. But anyway, that's going to do it for today, guys. Sorry for the rather boring episode, but there wasn't a lot to talk about this time. Hope you all enjoy. There's plenty of comments, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.